Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's whole channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus, to you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. This is a very serious warfare message. God is showing me a neighborhood, a neighborhood where ritual is being carried out. Where ritual is being carried out. This is no, this message is not for everybody. This is a neighborhood where satanic ritual ritual are being carried out it's like everybody in that in that community hates hates anything that have to do with the true god that we serve the almighty god so they hate it they have a way of serving their own gods you know they have a way of serving their own god and they are seriously watching watching you that is doing your own serving god separately so you must stand your ground that the glory will not be manipulated because these powers operating in that neighborhood, they are powers that manipulate glories. You know, this ritual that they do, they carry the thing around the city. People are laughing, people are snapping pictures, people are looking at it as if it is just for fun. It is not for fun. It is beyond fun. It is beyond fun because your eyes will be open. You will see that even the thing they carry, they deposit different things while they are carrying it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There are some things that are being that are for fun. Especially when summer is coming from in some countries, you see they do different kind of things. We know some are for fun, though they are worldly fun. They are worldly fun. Okay, they just do it. But there are some that have spiritual consequences. How can someone be in the neighborhood the moment they carry something around the, the city, people start getting sick, people start losing their job, children start going into drugs and a drug addiction, people start getting unwanted pregnancy, people start living in fornication, you know, promising children being removed from the right line. That they are, they, they, they are supposed to follow. They are destined to be tempered with. You have a job to do. Don't just look at me and say, I'm just, I'm just talking. You have a job because these people are also seriously watching you. You have a job to do because that is why God put you in that territory to destroy the works of Satan. When they have done their ritual, you, you also go to your own altar and do your own ritual. What is the ritual I'm talking about? I'm not saying go and do evil. Go and do your own prayers. Go, I don't know, is it right to call it ritual? Okay, your own sacrifice, I don't know. Sacrifice of praise. Let me call it sacrifice. Sacrifice of worship. Sacrifice of prayers. Sacrifice of songs. Bringing down the works of Jericho that is built in the city in order for people not to see beautiful things at the other side of life. So you have your own part to pray. pray. If this is your neighborhood, don't just look at them and say, ah, this neighborhood is so wicked. I don't know how I end up in this way neighborhood. Mm -mm. God has a purpose. Let it be felt in that kingdom that there is a child of a true God in that community. Why they are releasing that ritual in enchantment against children, against women, against men in that neighborhood, you are returning it back to them. That is why you are there. That is why you are there. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We are living in a world where ritual, evil, is being modernized. You know, before they used to do it in a dirty way. So when you see somebody doing voodoo, you will know the person is a voodoo worshiper, right? Then, because of what they will wear, how they will carry themselves, you will just look at them and like, ah, this person is a voodoo worshiper. These people are voodoo worshippers, but now they don't do it anymore, they modernize it. You can hardly know if they are really that 
that uh, occult people or evil people. You can hardly know. So that is why you must always be at Allah. The Bible says, watch and pray always. The days are evil. He that overcome will wear the crown of life. He said, watch, pray always. You understand? Don't think that, oh, because uh, they don't greet me, because I don't attend to them, because they worship another God, they don't worship my God. Uh, I, I let them go away. No, you must destroy what they are doing, because God planted there to take over the territory. The Bible says, wherever you step your foot, you will possess the book of Joshua. Hallelujah. So your father owns the land. You should not live in captivity in that land. You should not live a life of captivity in that land. I pray for you. By the power in the name of Jesus, receive strength. Receive strength. Hallelujah. Receive strength to live according to the will of God. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.